Mick Jagger met Keith Richards at school in Dartford, Kent, and they bonded over a mutual appreciation of black American blues and rock. In 1962, Jagger dropped out of the prestigious London School of Economics to form a music group with Richards and multi-instrumentalist Brian Jones. They decided on the name The Rolling Stones. The band gave their first performance on the 22nd of July 1962 at London venue Marquee International Jazz Club. They began with cover songs, but by the following year had developed their own music, sound and style. The three settled in into a fixed lineup with bassist Bill Wyman and drummer Charlie Watts, and decided on an image that was the antithesis of that of the Beatles raunchy, rebellious, and animalistic. The Stones became identified with the youthful counterculture of the 1960s. Well into the millennium, were giving the highest grossing concert tours of all time. Their 2016 album, Blue and Lonesome, became their 12th UK number one album. Charlie Watts died in 2021. But near octogenarians Jagger and Richards, the veteran bad boys of British rock, continue to write, tour, and produce to this day. Don't miss this edition of Speak Up to find out more.